Hello everyone and welcome to my 2021 to 22 freshman dorm tour at the University of Richmond. I'm in the Laura Robbins court for anyone going into it and I thought I'd just make this video for anyone who might be looking to what their room might be next year or what a freshman dorm at University of Richmond looks like if you're planning to apply. So here's just a little bit about me before we begin. My name is Josie. I am a freshman. I'm going into my sophomore year in the fall. I am majoring in environmental studies and minoring in art and entrepreneurship. And then here's a clip of me trying not to socially interact with anyone as I give you a nice little view of the hallway. On the front of our door, we have this beautiful large printout of Martine's face. So enjoy that little sneak peek. Here we have our trash and recycle room, which is very handy to have it so close to my room. And then over here, we have the hall bathroom where you share with your entire pod. It's about 22 other people in this building. It's got a pretty big mirror, two sinks per side. So there's two on the other side of the bathroom stalls as well. And here are the five shower stalls, which I never had a problem with no one being in, and they're pretty clean usually. There's a private bathroom there on my right. If you don't want to use the main one, it has a shower and bathroom. And here's our lounge, which is a fun little hangout, usually more busy. Um, if you just want to hang out with people or if you want to study out there, it's a nice place to study. So when you first walk in, we have some pictures on the back of the door. And these are just some more of our friend Martine. Then on the back of the door, we have our shower stuff, looking like a little bit of a mess right now, not gonna lie, but we have our towels. I have some of my shower stuff in my shower bag hanging up on a command hook. And then as you see, I have some of my shoes right by the door, just the ones that I use the most often. Then my recycle, my trash can. And then here's a quick overview of my half of the room. The other side is pretty much identical. I just didn't wanna invade my roommate's privacy. Here we have my lovely substitute tissues because I ran out some toilet paper that I stole from the bathroom since I was kind of sick when I was filming this. And then we move on. You see I have some beautiful day quilts. And then as you can see over here, just a little more in-depth. I have a little water container I was using to pour some of my acrylics. Thank you mom for the lovely container. Some alpacas for company of course. And then I stuffed a bunch of my hair ties and stuff back in here just for easy access. And then an old sculpture I did for my sculpting class last semester. And then we just have some flowers for decor. Again, some stuff from my art class last semester. I did some still life paintings. And then behind it, I have one of me and my boyfriend that I did a couple of years back. That I just keep there. And then some extra mounting putty, 10 out of 10, can recommend. Beautiful for the walls. Dinosaurs, of course, because why not? Then I have perfumes, some little trinkets, hand sanitizer, spray for my phone, some cleaner, deodorant, jewelry. And then here we have a little close-up of some of the other items on the top shelf. And I have some notebooks, some sketchbooks, some of my textbooks. Just mainly lots of books, if you could not tell. Then on top, some matching mugs. I have all my cleaning supplies, some little trinkets I'm going to stick later in my sketchbook, my water filter, 
and a little painting that me and Yulia made together. And then here is some stuff from a painting night that me and my friends did together. We pretended to read each other's fortunes as one does. So we have a little tarot card deck and then we have some fancy lights. And there's the painting that I ended up making. We painted our fortunes and that was a really fun activity. And I just hung it up as decor when we were finished. Then I have an old cigar container from my dad which at one point held pens and pencils, and they have disappeared, as you can see. <laughs> then I have a little photo of my boyfriend, some rocks as decor, my lamp that sometimes works, and today was not working because my bunny chewed through a cord at home, some D&D decor and dice, some art stuff that I was working on, my sharpeners, some needle bowl eraser, and here we have my photo wall, which I made... The large poster in the middle before I left and then just printed out a bunch of little photos from Walgreens. They're like very cheap, only like less than 30 cents each. So can recommend if you're looking to hang up some photos. Just be careful to make sure it does not ruin your walls because the school will probably find you for that. <laughs> and then here's a license place I made with my roommate at the beginning of the year. They had just an event where they printed them, which was super fun. And I have some sticky notes and such that my friends wrote some notes on that I just ended up keeping and I just stuck up on my wall. And here we have our lovely microwave and fridge. And on it we have a little blank canvas magnet that will has yet to be fulfilled still. So that will one day be painted hopefully. And, of course, the beautiful I Love Your Buns magnet from Virginia Beach. We have our microwave, which the most basic microwave I could find at Walmart. Thank you, Walmart. And a green box for the food program at our school. You just take it back to the dining hall with you, and you can swap it out to get food to go. And on the walls here, we have some art stuff from different artists that I like and some that I've made. This one is a Princess Bride poster. I will add the artist here, um, but I absolutely love that movie. It's one of my favorites, and I've also read the book. And then we have some art from my boss, Jen, at work. Shout out to Jen. And then Nick made me this beautiful lighthouse coloring page for Valentine's Day. And then we have some cards from my mother and my sister. Then some art from my AP concentration from last year. Some little animal pieces. Very cute. And then for my other boss at work, there are some of his art as well, which he gave me for free, which I appreciate so much because it is so beautiful. I love his art style. It's like very mosaic, like very unique. And then some stuff from the Virginia Museum and um, Small Island Big Song a performance that they had at school, which was really lovely. And I totally recommend. And then we have just some still life I did when I was in high school right here with my stuffed animals in it. And then some prints from another one of my favorite artists. And two oil paintings I did. A little dinosaur skeleton my sister made for me. So thank you very much for that, Gabriella. And then on my wall here, I have some photos that I tried to make in the shape of a heart. <laughs> Hit or miss there, but a lot of it is some of my art pieces that I have. And then just some of my family and friends. Um, and then I made a little decorative flower thing happening there. <laughs> Not really sure what shape it is. And here I am pointing to a bunch of the different ones that are the art pieces I made. And then I'm pretty sure that the rest are all just photos. Then we move over to the window area where I have it propped open and we have a lovely spider that I stole from Fiji Halloween party and a birth certificate for me, Catherine, and Yulia's child, Zazu, from the Lion King musical. And we have me and Catherine's other child, which we got at Virginia Beach, a dinosaur bicycle, as one has. 
a tennis ball that I'm not really sure where I got, but now I have it. A squishy thing from Yulia. A little marble drink container that I kept because I thought they're really cute. And then just some other stuff on my desk. I have my blue light glasses, my lamp, my switch that I almost killed that is charging. That I didn't end up having a lot of time to play, but I have been binging it this summer now that I'm home. <laughs> and then I have my makeup box, which I don't really use a lot, but I definitely use the nail polish in it all the time because I love painting my nails. I have my deodorant, some face stuff other lotions and hair products and then I have my little nail trimming kit in there with some other random papers that I had laying around that I needed a home for some charger batteries And of course, more dinosaurs living on the bottom shelf, because where else would dinosaurs live in a dorm room? Then here on my bed, we have a plethora of decorative pillows. One recommendation I would have is if you're thinking about getting decorative pillows, make sure you really want them because I ended up checking these off the bed most of the time. And I have some of my stuffed animals to keep each other company. I have this little quilt at the bottom of the bed, which was actually very convenient for nights when it wasn't like quite cold enough for the big blanket. And then under the bed, which was not this clean very short while ago, <laughs> I have a little vacuum that I use mostly for my car. And I have some tape for when me and Catherine are packing up. I have a little table that I used when I was too lazy to do work outside of bed. And it came in handy. And then I have some art supplies and some old Valentines. Some Mod Podge. A box that I keep some random stuff in. I have a survival bag in case of emergency. <laughs> My laptop loaner from the school, which came in handy quite a few times. I may I'm only just use my iPad, but when my iPad was dead or if there's a program I couldn't run that one of my classes needed, it was good to have. And then behind the bed is a lovely spot where you definitely should not put illicit goods. Then another pool out area on the dresser here. And this is where I keep all my clothes. This also came with the room. I have my shirts in one drawer, my pants in another, and then just various other clothing in the bottom. And then another stash of my neglected stuffed animals. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. My extra burrito filter and a stray Chick-fil-A straw. And then, oh, I forgot this little area. We have a painting that I recently did and I was leaving it there to dry. It's of my grandparents that I made for my mom for Mother's Day. And then this chair also came with the desk in the room. And under it, I shoved some miscellaneous supplies. There's an old textbook that I don't need and I'm going to sell back to the school. Some extra canvases, my Sharpies. Of course, more art supplies hidden everywhere. <laughs> Here are some snacks I kept under, my laundry supplies, some cleaning stuff again. Thin mints, I love you. Would not have survived without you. Thank you. 
And then this is my main art supply cabinet that I use a lot. I have my watercolors, my colored pencils, my sketchbook that I had finished during the school year, my markers. I only have like 30 of them, but they come in handy every once in a while. I used to be like super obsessed with alcohol markers when I first started watching YouTube videos about art stuff. I also have some oil paint pens, which are just pretty much Posca's that are cheaper. Yep. And then down here we have some art supplies that I don't really use as frequently. I have a little sticker maker, some old clay from my other class, some model magic that I have been meaning to use for something. <laughs> some stickers. Yep, that's about the gist of that cabinet. Mm. And I just rest my backpack here because it's convenient. And then on the back of my door, I have a hanger that I just got from Ross. It was like $10 and it's very convenient to hang up all my coats and sweatshirts. Um, and I keep my umbrella here because the weather is crazy in Richmond. So always bring an umbrella. <laughs> You'll never know and it will start raining suddenly. I have my purse, an extra tote bag that I can carry stuff to the car if I need it. Some more flowers that got buried beneath my many, many a coats and sweatshirts. <laughs> and then in here, we have my mirror, some more flowers to go with the room's theme. Some more art stuff. A little print I did. I have my laundry, my suitcases, another tote for shopping and stuff. And then I have my shoes that I don't really wear as often, like my old sneakers and some sandals since the weather hasn't really warmed up to the point of that when I was filming this. And then I have some face towels, some hair supplies, some feminine products, and my diffuser that was also neglected, but I should use more often. And then, of course, snacks, including a sport SPF sunscreen. Tasty. And then up there, I had some cleaning supplies that I did not feel like dragging down to show, but it was just cleaning supplies. And then, as you can see here, the cabinet that I'm struggling to reach, but should not be a problem for anyone taller than 5'4". <laughs> but I just stuck some storage boxes up here and some objects that I don't really use a lot that I was just going to take home later. But it was a nice storage area just for stuff you don't really use and just want to put to the side. Yep, so there's my closet. And that is about it for the room. So here's a brief little overview of the whole room. And I'll list all the stuff that came with it just in the description if that's helpful so you'll know how much storage stuff you have. It was personally enough for me, but just depends on how much stuff you're bringing. Mm -hmm.